Hi, welcome back to Canadian Competitive Math. We are on day 8 of this challenge. I have changed the gears a little bit today and I am focusing on a probability related question. So let us look at what we have here today. In a card game there are 15 green cards and one red card. The player has to call the cards one by one. If the called card is red, the player receives 0 points, meaning uh, there are 15 green cards and one red card. So if any time during the game a red card is drawn, the player receives 0 points for that game. But if the player voluntarily stops before the red card is drawn, meaning let us take, he pulled 9 cards totally. And out of this nine cards, he never had a red card. And he stops. He says that the game, he is quitting the game. He will receive points equal to the total number of cards that are drawn till then. Meaning he will get some points. A player purchased 1000 games. And in each game, he has to call equal number of cards. How many cards does he have to call across each game so that his points are maximized? So there is a dilemma here. If he draws only one point, he has least probability of losing the game because the probability of uh, calling red if you are just drawing one card is less. On the other hand, if he is more liberal and wants to pull many cards, meaning like he wants to pull 12, 13 cards, the chances of pulling a red card in the entire stretch are more. He might end up losing all the points. He might end up scoring only zero points in that game. So one extreme where he pulls very less number of points, that's also bad. On the other extreme, pulling more number of cards, that's also bad. And we need to find out which number is the most optimal and gives him more points over 1000 games. So to solve problem like this, we need to depend on probability theory. Let us look at uh, the solution. Let us look at the probability of calling a green card on the first draw. Since there are total 16 cards, the probability of calling a green card in the first draw is 15 by 16. The probability of calling a green card in two consecutive draws, meaning he pulled a green card in the first draw, he pulled a green card in the second draw, that will be 15 by 16, which is probability of calling a green in the first draw, times 14 by 15, which is probability of calling a green in the second draw. So since we don't know what the optimal n is, we assume that to maximize his points, he has to call n cards. So for n cards, the probability looks like this. The good part here is the 15 get cancelled by 15 here, 14 by 14 here, 13 by the 13 that appears and finally the probability of calling green cards in n consecutive draws will be 16 minus n by 16, right? So the average, so if he is pulling n cards for each game over 1000 games, on an average, each game he will be getting around n times 16 minus n by 16 points. It is the total number of points he receives times the probability of getting green card in n draws in a given game. For 1000 points, it will be 1000 times n times 16 minus n by 16. So the question here asks that he has to maximize his points here. So we have to maximize 1000 times n times 16 minus n by 16. So if we just simplify this, we will get 
times n times 16 minus n. So we need to maximize 62.5 times n times 16 minus n. Since 62.5 is a constant, so the maximum of this expression is maximum of n times 16 minus n. So let us try to transform n into 16 minus n so that we can find what its maximum value is. So let us start with n into 16 minus n. We can write this if you multiply n uh, with the term inside it will be 16n minus n square. We add 64 and subtract 64 here. And if we rearrange these terms we pull this minus n square ahead. So minus n square plus 16n minus 64 plus 64. We swap places here. That will be if I take minus 1 common here it will be minus times n square minus 16n plus 64. The inside term we can write it as n square minus 2 times 8, 8 times n plus 8 square. So this whole expression we can write it as minus of n minus 8 whole square plus 64 which we can write it as 64 minus n minus 8 whole square. So, this entire expression n times 16 minus n, we can write it as 64 minus n minus 8 whole square. So, this is of the form a positive number minus a positive number. This whole number will be maximum. Let us imagine this. There are two numbers, one constant, other is changing. And you are subtracting the changing number from the constant number. The entire expression will be maximum when the number you are subtracting from the constant number is 0. If, if this n minus 8 whole square is anything other than 0, you will have 64 minus that number, which will be less than 64 minus 0 square. So, this whole expression will be maximum when this whole expression will be maximum when n equal to 8. Meaning, to maximize its points in the long run over 1000 games, if he keeps drawing 8 cards in each game, even though he loses on some points and he wins on some other points, Overall, over 1000 games, his points will be maximized. So, this is a kind of probability theory that is applied on a lot of uh, card games. So, if you look at, if you go to casinos, there are a lot of games that depend on chance. So, using probability theory, they designed games in such a way that over long run, some people may win a lot of money, some people may lose a lot of money. But overall, they design it in such a way that the company that is hosting the casino always wins. So, they say that in casinos, the house always wins. So, this is one of the application of probability theory. And there are many applications like this in insurance and many other fields. And questions like this are very common in competitive exams. I hope you like this question. For more uh, content like this, please subscribe to my channel and like my content. Thank you.